Hi, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaCure. In the previous video, we discussed the structure activity relationships and the mechanism of action of tetracyclines. If you did not watch the video, hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. For the other topics of antibiotics and medicinal chemistry, click on the links given in the description below this video. In this video, we shall learn the individual tetracyclines such as tetracycline, oxytetracycline, chlortetracycline, minocycline and doxycycline. The tetracyclines are close derivatives of polycyclic naphthacene carboxamides. The structural formulas of various tetracyclines which are clinically useful are shown here. The first drug of this lesson is tetracycline. Tetracycline was patented in 1953 and came into commercial use in 1978. It is chemically 4S, 4AS, 5AS, 6S, 12AS, 4-dimethylamino, 1-4-4A, 5-5A, 6-11-12A octahydro, 3-6-10-12-12A pentahydroxy, 6-methyl, 1-11-dioxonaphthacine, 2-carboxamide. This chemical name may be considered to be illustrative of the nomenclature of other tetracyclines. There are 5 chiral centers located at 4, 4A, 5A, 6 and 12A in tetracycline and each of these centers has S configuration. It is a broad spectrum polyketide antibiotic produced by the streptomyces genus of actinobacteria. It is a tertiary alpha hydroxy ketone and a member of tetracyclines. It is also a zwitter ion. It has a role as an antimicrobial agent, an antibactericidal drug, an antiprotozoal drug, a protein synthesis inhibitor, and an E. coli metabolite. Synthesis of tetracycline Tetracycline was first derived chemically by the hydrogenolysis of chlortetracycline with hydrogen using a palladium on carbon catalyst. It is also produced by semi-synthetically from chlorotetracycline, an antibiotic isolated from the bacterium Streptomyces aureophasiens. It is a yellow crystalline powder. It darkens in strong sunlight in a moist atmosphere. It is very slightly soluble in water. Tetracycline works by inhibiting protein synthesis in bacteria. It binds to the 30S ribosomal subunit interferes with the binding of amino acyl transferase RNA to the messenger RNA ribose complex, thereby inhibiting protein synthesis. Tetracycline is sold under the brand name Sumycin. It is used to treat a number of infections including acne, cholera, brucellosis, plague, malaria and syphilis. Moving on to the second drug, Oxytetracycline. Oxytetracycline was patented in 1949 and came into commercial use in 1950. It is the second tetracycline of the group to be discovered. In addition to the five chiral centers present in the tetracycline, it carries one more chiral center at position 5 of S configuration. It may be noted that in relative terms of configurations at positions 4A and 5A are same as in tetracycline but because of the hydroxyl group at position 5 affecting the priority order according to the sequence rule, the configurations at these two positions get denoted not as S but R. It is a tetracycline analog isolated from the actinomycete streptomyces ribosus. It has a role as an antibacterial drug, a protein synthesis inhibitor, an antimicrobial agent, an anti-inflammatory drug, and a bacterial metabolite. Oxytetracycline is synthesized biosynthetically as a result of the activity of actinomycete streptomyces ribosus. It forms a yellow or light yellow crystalline powder and very slightly soluble in water. Oxytetracycline works by interfering with the ability of bacteria to produce essential proteins. Without these proteins, the bacteria cannot grow, multiply and increase in numbers. Oxytetracycline therefore stops the spread of the infection and the remaining bacteria are killed by the immune system or eventually die. Oxytetracycline is a broad spectrum antibiotic active against a wide variety of bacteria. However, some strains of bacteria have developed resistance to the antibiotic which has reduced its effectiveness for treating some types of infections. It is used to treat infections caused by chlamydia that is the chest, 
eye and genital infections and infections caused by mycoplasma organisms for example pneumonia it is also used to treat acne due to its activity against the bacteria on the skin that influence the development of acne that is qt bacterium acnes it is used to treat flare ups of chronic bronchitis due to its activity against the bacteria usually responsible haemophilus influenza it may also be used to treat other rarer infections such as those caused by a group of microorganisms called rickettsia the third drug is chlortetracycline chlortetracycline trade name areomycin is the first tetracycline antibiotic to be identified it was discovered in 1945 by the scientist benjamin minje dukkar under the supervision of ella pragada subbarao It was isolated from the organism named Streptomyces aureofaciens and the drug aureomycin was given by the name because of its golden color. Chlortetracycline differs from tetracycline by the substitution of a chlorine atom at C7 position. It has a role as an antiprotozoal drug, a fluorescent probe, a calcium ionophore and an antibacterial drug. It is a member of monochlorobenzenes a tertiary amino compound a tertiary alcohol a monocarboxylic acid amide a tertiary alpha hydroxy ketone and a member of tetracyclines chlortetracycline is obtained biosynthetically as a result of the activity of a microorganism the actinomycete streptomyces aureofaciens it forms yellow powder slightly soluble in water as compared with other tetracyclines Chlortetracycline is poorly absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract. Its mechanism of action is similar to that of other tetracyclines. A combination cream with triamcinolone acetonide, chlortetracycline is available for the treatment of infected allergic dermatitis in humans. In veterinary medicine, chlortetracycline is commonly used to treat conjunctivitis in cats, dogs and horses. It is also used to treat infected wounds in cattle, sheep and pigs and respiratory tract infections in calves, pigs and chickens. The next drug is minocycline. Minocycline was patented in 1961 and came into commercial use in 1971. It is chemically 4S, 4AS, 5AR, 12AS, 47-bis dimethyl amino 144A 55A 611 12A octahydro 31012 12A tetrahydroxy 111 dioxo naphthacin 2 carboxamide hydrochloride it is a tetracycline analog having a dimethyl amino group at position 7 and lacking the methyl and hydroxyl groups at position 5 Like other semi-synthetic tetracyclines, minocycline has modifications to carbons 7, 8 and 9 on the D-ring to generate high efficacy than previous tetracyclines. It is a second generation tetracycline that is active against gram negative and gram positive bacteria. It has a role as an antibacterial drug, as E. coli metabolite and a gyro protector. It is a member of tetracyclines. a tetracinomycin and a tertiary alpha hydroxy ketone minocycline can be synthesized from sancycline in two different methods in method 1 nitration of sancycline results in the electrophilic substitution at either the c7 or c9 position separation of the 7 or 9 nitro regio isomers and reductive hydrogenation and methylation using 10% palladium carbon at atmospheric pressure produce 7 dimethyl amino 6 dimethyl 6 deoxy tetracycline or 9 dimethyl amino 6 dimethyl 6 deoxy tetracycline the 7 dimethyl amino derivative is named minocycline this method of synthesis has major problems of separation of regio isomers at positions c7 and c9 where industrial scale separations by chromatography are not economically feasible in the second industrial scale synthesis method sancycline is first obtained from a fermentation product demeclocycline which is readily reduced by catalytic hydrogenation then sancycline is nitrated in the presence of anhydrous hydrogen fluoride and under correct nitration conditions to form 9 nitrosancycline catalytic reduction of the nitro group to the amine 
produces 9 amino sancyclin. Further nitration produces 7 nitro 9 amino sancyclin. The amino functionality is reduced via the diazonium salt intermediate to produce 7 nitro sancyclin. The nitro group is reduced and simultaneously reductively alkylated using formaldehyde and catalytic reducing conditions to produce minocycline. Another reaction scheme utilizes the reactivity of the 7th position of sancycline with the diazo compounds. Samcycline in acid reacts with dibenzyl azodiformate in tetrahydrofuron produces 7-N-N-dicarbobenzyl oxyhydrazine. This intermediate is then catalytically reduced to 7-amino samcycline. The amino compound is finally reductively alkylated using formaldehyde and catalytic hydrogenation conditions to give minocycline. The drug minocycline is used in the form of minocycline hydrochloride dihydrate which is sparingly soluble in water and slightly soluble in ethanol. It is a bright yellow-orange amorphous solid and hygroscopic in nature. It is sparingly soluble in water and reacts acidic in aqueous solution. It is readily absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract. Minocycline binds to the bacterial 30S ribosomal subunit and interferes with protein synthesis. It is sold under the brand name Minosin. It is used to treat a number of bacterial infections such as pneumonia. It is generally less preferred than the doxycycline drug. It is also used for the treatment of acne and rheumatoid arthritis. It is taken by mouth or applied to the skin. And the last drug of this lesson is doxycycline. Doxycycline was patented in 1957 and came into commercial use in 1967. It is a semi-synthetic broad-spectrum tetracycline class of antibiotics. It is a tetracycline in which the 5-beta hydrogen is replaced by a hydroxyl group while the 6-alpha hydroxyl group is replaced by hydrogen. The absence of a hydroxyl group in C6 prevents the formation of the nephrotoxic compound. The chemical name doxycycline is derived from oxytetracycline as the relative configurations of the 6-methyl group are similar in both but in doxycycline with the 6-hydroxyl not being there, the absolute configuration at this position has R configuration and it is S in oxytetracycline. It is a second generation tetracycline exhibiting lesser toxicity than first generation tetracyclines. It has a role as an antibacterial drug, an antimalarial agent, a gyroprotector, an anti-inflammatory agent and an immunomodulator. Synthesis of toxicycline The exocyclic double bond that is the double bond present at the 6th position, the 6-methylene tetracycline reacts with mercaptans via a radical reaction producing the anti markovnikov sulfur adduct of methacycline. When benzyl mercaptan reacts with methacycline produces 6-alpha-benzyl thiomethylene 5-hydroxy tetracycline which can be reduced with raninical catalyst under hydrogen to produce 6-alpha-methyl 6-deoxy 5-hydroxy tetracycline which is known as doxycycline. Alternatively, in an industrial scale, methacycline may be directly stereospecifically reduced under hydrogen using rhodium metal complexes producing doxycycline in high yields. Doxycycline exists in the form of doxycycline monohydrate and doxycycline hyclate. It is yellow crystalline powder with a bitter taste. It has melting point at 201 degrees centigrade. It is very slightly soluble in water, sparingly soluble in alcohol, freely soluble in dilute acid and alkali hydroxide solution, practically insoluble in chloroform and ether. It is readily and almost completely absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract. Doxycycline inhibits the synthesis of bacterial proteins by binding to the 30S ribosomal subunit which is only found in bacteria. This prevents the binding of transfer RNA to messenger RNA at the ribosomal subunit meaning that amino acids cannot be added to polypeptide chains and new proteins cannot be made. This stops bacterial growth giving the immune system time to kill and remove the bacteria. It is used in the treatment of infections caused by bacteria and certain parasites. It is used to treat bacterial pneumonia, acne, Chlamydia infections, Lyme disease, cholera, 
typhus and syphilis. It is also used to prevent malaria in combination with quinine. It may be taken by mouth or by injection into the vein. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video, the individual tetracyclines. With this, we end the topic of tetracyclines. In the next lesson, I will come up with a new topic. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.